So how you doing guys and welcome, it is Kraken here and we're back on day number 20 of Darkness Falls. Right, if you missed yesterday's episode you need to go back and watch it because look at what we have actually found. We have found a town and more importantly we've also found a town that has a proper main road going out of it. So that means that's going to lead to another town which is very very useful for us. We also have this Doc Dorana that we're going to go and say hello to, which I believe is part of the storyline for Darkness Falls, which is something that I know nothing about. So we're going to go and say hello to them. We're just waiting for four o'clock at the moment. We have also got a blue key card as well um, and some nanites down here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got some stuff we're going to go and sell. We are chocker block full though at the moment. So we've just been creeping and waiting down here overnight, a POI that we need to head back to Bob, Trader Bob up here and go and hand him. So I did notice yesterday that with the traders, because we're now on tier two quests, Bob gave us a tier two quest. So it looks like the, the traders will send you to a tier two, even if you haven't completed the first seven with them right it's got to be pretty damn close now four o'clock we got window in look out off no it still looks pretty dark out there the sun should be coming up now any minute really yeah i think it's just starting to come on up at the moment so we'll give it a couple of more minutes and we'll get cracking Ooh, down in one very nice right it must be four o'clock because they're not running is good. The problem is when you get dodgy weather it's very hard to actually realise and work out whether it's actually four o'clock or not. Right and here's somebody else. Nigel how are you doing? Looking after my bike are you? Still got a few radio ones here. Right first person yeah Dr. Anna is the first person we're going to go and say hello to. So let's get on our dirt bike and go and do that. Right, Anna, I think you need to sort out your house a little bit because it's, um, looks like it's come for a landslide. Uh, unlocked, unlocked. Okay, found your office. And touch shoes. Oh, we'll sell your shoes, Anna. But where are you, though? Ah. Got a whole secret bunker, have you? Am I safe in here? I'm a little bit worried about this. Oh, lots of bookcases though. Let's have a quick look at these. Just found one there for leather armour, which was the next thing I did want to start doing. So let's just quickly read up. Yeah, read you, read you, read you, read you. Scrap, 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 and read you. Okay, and we'll scrap you. Fantastic. Um, oh my god, look at this. Anna, you are amazing. Right, okay. Um, I'm a little... I don't feel overly safe at the moment in this place, though. Read you. Scrap you. Read you. Scrap. Scrap. Read and read. Got loads of stuff down here. Got his clothes. You got all sorts. Right, you are next door, okay. I'll take all of that. Take that. Let's go through this way. So you must be got one hell of a kitchen here. If you are here to buy, 
I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Good stuff. Dr. Anna, how are you doing? Have you got any work? No, I don't trust you. Go out and help Eve. Okay. Well, that means I'm still going to come and loot all your stuff. Let me quickly go through the kitchen. Oh, we have a working cooker. Right, so through that, we've got some stuff here that we're just going to scrap because we are running completely out of room. We're going to eat the cornmeal. Uh, we need to scrap you and scrap you. We've actually got three bloody cooking pots now. At least they stack, which is the main thing. And we're going to drink that coffee just to help us out with our stamina a little bit because we are stupidly encumbered. Right, okay, so obviously we can't do anything with her yet. Are these real ones? Oh yeah, okay, let me quickly go through these. Right, okay, then we can scrap that, scrap that, scrap that, get rid of you. Uh, we can eat you, food poisoning zero, so let's eat you. And we'll quickly eat this death meal, which does look like it's been fixed, because we would have got food poisoning by now. Whoa! I can hear some people outside, but I didn't know they'd actually made it in here. Right, what are you doing? Right, we are stupidly, stupidly encumbered now. Um, get rid of you and we'll just quickly drink you up. Right, okay, so we found Anna's base, but we can't do anything till we've sorted out Eve. So that's going to be our next thing to do at some point. Let's go and see Trader Bob. And get some of this stuff sold so we can actually move a little bit faster than we are right now. Today we are going to be going back to the main base. Because obviously we've got the horde coming up tomorrow. And we need... We've done so much levelling up over the last couple of days. That we're really going to need to um, do something with our horde base. Football zombie! There we go, lovely jubbly. Right, can I lob anything into you? Yeah, you've taken a bit of stuff, okay, fantastic. Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Here's your pay. Um, Bob, 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 what am I going to do? You're worth 204, you're worth 204. Molotovs. My base doesn't work with Molotovs at the moment. And I'm not really fussed about bladed weapons, because I'm not using bladed weapons. So I could either take you or scrap you. I think I think we should get some money back for the second, so let's take that one. We'll take another job here. Uh, yeah. We're not going to be doing it, though. Let me sell you some stuff. Right, I think that's about everything I'm going to sell you at the moment. It's freed me up a little bit of space, which is nice. Right. We have, obviously, the tier two here. We've got a lady killer to do over here, which I am going to go and do quickly and see a little bit about what this road is all, uh, all about. Let's see which direction... And what's going on with this road? So we'll go and do both of those quickly as we are here. Right, so we've got a few wilderness POIs here. A few vending machines there. Yeah, a couple of small ones here. This is slowly taking us kind of back to where we've already been. So I'm going to follow it a little bit further, see what's up here. Right, well obviously we can't go any further into this way because that is the wasteland. So that is as much as she wrote for there. So let's circle a bit of the wasteland. Whoa, what is you? Ooh. That looks um, very dangerous, and looks like we can't go much further in that direction. Okay, well it was worth coming and having a little look for. Look at me! Woo! Lady killer, let's go! <laughs> I 
Fantastic. Nice and easy. And we got some loot this time. Okay, just a bit of iron. Right. Yep. Right, we'll go and hand this back in. And then we'll just have a little look around here. Because we haven't actually checked this side of the town yet. So we'll have a quick little look over there. I'm thinking that tier 2 over there could potentially be... Could be in a town, but I'm not quite sure. Bart Salvage. Now, to me, that sounds like it's going to have plenty of cars in. And to be fair, we do need cars because we're struggling now for fuel a little bit. All right, sort you out. So what I am going to actually quickly do is be a little bit sneaky and actually wrench up this car over here to get a little bit more fuel. And then we'll start the POI. Right, there we go. Started the quest. I did get another bloody engine out of that thing, which I will be selling. Right, scrap you. Good job we're finding plenty of oil as well, because we need them for repair kits in Darkness Falls. There we go. Right, let's redo you. Right, let's go in. May as well go in straight through the front door. Now, back in the day, these used to give you an instant engine, and then they changed it to a chance of an engine. Okay, still just a chance. Ooh, another good iron shovel. Okay, well, we'll definitely be selling you and some steel. Oh, that gave me a radiator. Okay, well, we'll scrap you straight for the brass. You're unlocked. Oh, look at this. Loads of cars. I can imagine a place like this having lots of dogs. Seems like that kind of place. Okay, we've got another good book there. Mining book, so let's use that. We've got some stakes out of that as well. I don't know whether I really want stakes that are out of a dumpster, but hey-ho. Ah. How you doing, mate? Whoa. Back up, Johnny. Okay, we've got, we've got Jarvis outside, who sounds like he's going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, wait, you coming through. All right, well, that's all with that out. Okay, looks like we've got a passageway going down here. We've got another biker over here. Guess you'd be hanging out with the walk of shame. Right. Can you actually wrench these cars apart? No. Right. See if we get a wheel. No, bugger all out of you. Right, one thing I don't like about this is there's not actually a way out of here. So, let's um, get some ladders. Get rid of you. I saw you. I saw you. Now, I've done this POI once before, and it confused the living shit out of me. There's quite a lot of left, right, left, right. And we aren't talking about the UK funky. Calipers. Oh, a tanning rack and another hammer to sell. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Right, we're just going to sell you. And obviously we're going to open all of you up. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Right, so we came down this one. Uh, we'll go left first. Can't go left. Okay. Can we go right? Ooh, uh, okay, you can actually get through there. Okay, down you come. Up you get, hoodie boy. Thank you. Right, that will lead us, yeah, back out there. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to do some scrapping. Got somebody, somebody awake somewhere. Not sure where you are. There is a red dot, and I can hear you. You might be below us. You might be above us. Right. Let me just quickly scrap some of these books, and let's use our crowbar and get ourselves into this one here. Uh. Okay, bullet casings. That was a bit disappointing. Okay, there's another book in here I needed to get. Right, let's use you. Fantastic. Right, and what have you got for me? Cowboy hat. We'll scrap you. Right, let's go back over this way and see if we can beat into this one. Whoa! Cheeky bastards. Up you get, love. Oh, 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 hello. Pump action shotgun. Okay. Well, that's good news. Uh, we are going to get rid of those shells, but we will reload you first. How many can you hold? Ten. Ten rounds. Okay, that's nice. Right, let's put our new shotgun to the test. Oh, there's more than one. Yeah, pump action shotgun and complete. So now we can go back to the trader. See what we've got in here first, though. Not a lot by the looks of it. So we actually got to the best room first. Drink you, get rid of you. And orange marmalade. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Survivor. My family and I are in your debt. Here is your reward. Hi, Bob. Uh, well, we're going to get the schematics. There we go, and we've got a load of stuff now to sell to you. We will take another... Oh, you won't buy any more engines, you miserable bastard. Right, I'll tell you that. Right, I'll give you a two times scope as well. Right, well, we are going home now. So I think I'm going to keep everything else on me. We looked through your inventory yesterday and you didn't really have anything I wanted or needed. Um, and we don't have lots of money anyway. Do you have cobblestone though? I will. I would buy cobblestone off you. As we do need to work on the horde base tomorrow. You've got cement but you don't have cobblestone. Okay. Thanks for shopping here. Right. Come again. We are going to... I think we're going to head home. Yeah, we're going to head home. I'm going to quickly come around this way, though, and just make sure we've circumnavigated the whole of this little town. And we'll be coming back up here and probably making an outpost, a proper outpost out here to do after we've done the Horde Night. Is this part of the same town? Oh, so there's actually a proper main road coming out of this side of the town. This is why I wanted to check it. Right, let's quickly see what's out here. Because we can ride at night if we have to. And look at what we've got up here. Another town in the right biome. So that tier 2 was up there. 
Bugger me. Okay, so we've got town here, town here. Why couldn't we have spawned over in this direction? Well, bugger me, we've actually got another gen over here. Right, let's put some stuff into you. Right, you will buy my mods and my engines that I want to sell. Look at me, it's 7 o'clock at night. Looks like we will be riding home of a night time. I'm not going to raid your whole compound. I'm literally just going to sell like the engine and what have you off you. I'm not going to go around and do the whole compound. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Right, can you teach me anything? No, let me see your inventory. Let me sell you some stuff. Right, that's everything I'm going to sell you. Have you got anything worth buying just quickly while we're here? Well, you just brightened my day. No, Jen, well, you don't have you. anything for me. I will just quickly grab your books because I do like books, right? We can scrap you straight away because I think we're going to be quite close to being able to make another class paper. Yeah, and scrap you. So what are we up to now? 68? 66, 68? Yeah, 68. Fantastic. Do we have enough fuel? I think we should have enough fuel. I think... Right, let's put a... Well, we haven't got much health left on that, so let's um, we'll repair you once. We've got two more repair kits. 36% fuel. And we've got to get all the way to here. Bugger off, you. Cheeky sod. Hmm... Problem is, there's no real roads on the way back. I'm going to wrench up wrench up a couple of these cars just to get the fuel. There's a couple of cars here. And as soon as it goes to 10 o'clock, I'll start riding home. Right, 67% fuel. We are going... Have I put the marker on here? Yep, put the marker on here. 5.4 kilometres. Fun times. Let's get riding. I think, because we got two towns there so close to each other... Ow, oh, that hurt. Um, we're probably going to have to look... Because we can make every vehicle in the game now, and we've got a crucible so we can make steel. So we have to look at the different vehicles and see which one can hold the most amount of stuff, because we may as well just move our base up here. We've got Trader Joel up here, Trader Jen, Trader Bob. We've got that Dr. Anna. There's no real reason to stay out in the middle of, the, middle of nowhere, really. And there's another Trader Joel. So we've got another Trader Joel we've just found, just by going as the crow flies. There's that western town. At the moment, we haven't actually found any hilly terrain. Like this kind of terrain's fine. So maybe, maybe making like the four x four or whatever vehicles we can in this. Let me know in the comments down below which one can actually hold the most amount of stuff. That would be fine on this kind of terrain. Here's the western town that we did the other day. And we've just found a Trader Hue on the map. I tell you what, bugger me backwards, this has been one hell of a trip. But we are going to have to go around this water now. I don't want to risk going that way because it could take us up into the wasteland, so let's follow it down and around this way. Oh, right. Bugger me backwards. We have finally made it back. Stupidly encumbered. And we're going to have to do something with this to make us survive tomorrow. But yeah, we're just going to have to look at the vehicles, I reckon. And just seriously look at what's going to be best 
to get us back over there. So the whole the whole terrain was actually really flat. If we quickly look at the map. So there's um, there's Trader Joel. So we came from there. There's no actual proper like hilly terrain. We could have actually followed the road here around there. There's actually none none of this big mountainous stuff in our way. So most vehicles should be able to do that, I would have imagined. You'd like to think so anyway. Right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. All I'm going to do is quickly put my stuff away. Um, it hasn't quite turned to day 21 just yet. Um... Right, get my mods into there. Yeah, so I'm just going to put away all my stuff. And, um, yeah, I think we're just going to have to look at surviving the haul tomorrow as best as we can. And then, well, basically grabbing one of the POIs, either in this town or this town. They both look like a fairly decent size. And making a brand new base. Guys, thank you very much for joining me. Big thumbs up. Th thank you very much for joining me, guys. Big thumbs up on the video. As always, you guys have a cracking day. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take it easy. Yeah.